George Mallet sits on the set of Lifestyle Live. He's waiting for a cue in his ear from the producer to toss to Amber for a story about crispy chicken and okra. As a viewer, you welcome George into your home every morning at 10 a.m. when you flip to Channel 8. And now, George wants to welcome you into a part of his personal life. I've been a type 1 diabetic since I was 17 years old. Type 1 diabetes is when a person's pancreas doesn't make enough insulin. Insulin is a hormone that helps blood sugar enter the body's cells so it can produce energy. Without it, a person can't function. Type 1 diabetes typically appears in adolescence, but you can get it when you're older. I asked George how he felt when he first found out. I was devastated. You know, I was a teenager and I was confronted with my mortality. And, and, um, and, and it, was, it was terrifying at the time. Despite being young and scared, George immediately went to his school library to learn about the disease. As he flipped through medical textbooks, he saw words that could possibly define his future. Heart attack, stroke, kidney damage, and blindness. Some people are even forced to have their legs or arms amputated. And it really made it sound like that this was, you know, my destiny. But George didn't want that as his fate. Once he got over his initial grief of the diagnosis, George decided he was going to live the best he could for as long as he could. Since George's pancreas doesn't make enough insulin, he has to inject it into his body himself with a needle. After that, he'll prick his finger to test his blood sugar to make sure the levels are right. He'll do this about a dozen times a day. Once a week, he'll load up his infusion pump. The pump is a medical device that monitors his blood sugar levels to make sure insulin is being released in the right amounts. But that's not all George must do to keep his diabetes in check. He's got to exercise. I, I immediately took up long distance running. Um, I began to really focus on the things that I could do for my health. And the, the primary thing was to be exceedingly active. Now we're moving, huh? He bikes. He runs. He dances with his wife, Kathy. Even when George doesn't feel like it, he makes himself get out of bed to get his exercise in. Because it's not just about George. He's got someone really special relying on him. It's this guy. This is Spots, George's six-year-old pit mix. Every day, he suits Spot up in his harness and hooks him to his bike, and the two go for a ride. Every. Single. Day. George has shared his life with his wife, Kathy, who he married in January of this year. She also shares in his journey to stay healthy. It's just, it's wonderful to have him around. It's wonderful that there is somebody who helps me stay motivated to move around and do things. Um, it's hard to sit here and watch him do all that and then be like, okay, I mean, I have 30 minutes. I could definitely go take a walk or something. I don't have to just sit here in my bathrobe. By sharing his story, he hopes to help others. Here's his message to you. You know, a body in motion stays in motion. You stay active, you stay alive.